Hello everyone. Uh, today's video's topic is CI/CD pipeline using Jenkins. Okay. So uh, what we're going to discuss in this video, like first topic is CI and second topic is CD. Uh, it means like what does it mean by CI and what does it mean by CD? And we will see actual implementation and working of uh, pipeline, CI/CD pipeline using Jenkins. Okay. So we will go. We're going to complete all these things uh, in this video okay so without waste time uh, let me make you understand uh, like what is ci is because to moving forward to this working we need to understand uh, what is ci and what is cd is so suppose you are a developer okay and you are working on one project and this is your uh, working space and you are writing uh, some sample codes okay so when you write a sample code what you will do uh, after implementing uh, some set of functionality suppose you are working on a add method and you implement this add method and uh, you want to push it to the repository but before pushing it what do you want to do you need to write a unit test cases for this right so plus your functionality and you will write a unit tested unit test cases for it right when you complete your unit test cases uh, you will push it to the repository right you will push it to the git repository and what a repository you are using in your project right yeah this is a git repository and this is a working space you will push the code here so uh, before pushing a code you will run all these uh, functionality what a code you are writing like what code you have written and uh, the unit test cases you have written for the, that particular functionality now your uh, code and your unit test cases are working fine absolutely fine no problem in it and you post it right so when we talk about a ci uh, like uh, you have written unit test cases for this particular functionality it might be possible uh, some other unit test cases also available right because you are not a single person or working this particular project right if you are working in a project so there might be a chances uh, yeah but uh, yeah for sure um, there be a chance some uh, more people or more developers are working with you so we have a unit test cases for entire application got it so when you push your unit test cases they will go into the repository with the code and they will go to the this repository and now you have some in some set of you have functionality and you have unit test cases with already available unit test cases right now you have your unit test cases and we have already uh, like developed unit test cases right got it so what is ci is whenever someone talking about ci like continuous integration okay because you are like uh, might be possible some other developer also working on a, some other functionality rise and they will develop that functionality and they will uh, like uh, write a unit test case and they also post here right and merge into your like uh, same branch okay you are working on a functionality and they merge into the same branch now you have both uh, like unit test cases into the repository so when the code available in your repository like continuously development is happened right for a unit test cases and you are pushing into the repository so whenever you are pushing something like your unit test cases will run in pipeline okay so whenever it, we talk about continuous integration we are talking about unit test cases just keep in this mind okay whenever you are say continuous integration it means like continuously unit test cases will be written with the functionality and whenever you push the code with the existing unit test cases your unit test cases also will run and on the basis of unit test cases a report will generate like either our application is working fine or not so this is the meaning of ci still you have any problem just comment down i will happy to give answer and yeah and this is i'm just explaining you verbally and i will show you what is a ci also okay uh, with the help of diagram and this is mean a continuous deployment so suppose you just uh, have written a code for this functionality and written a code for unit test cases also. Now this thing is passed, right? So you need to deploy the code for uh, QA people's, right? They need to test your uh, functional testing, whatever uh, the manner they are doing, like in functional or automation or whatever testing they are following, right? So they need a code for that. They need your code to test uh, their test cases, right? To run their test cases. So they need this code. So they will uh, get this code by, or they will take a poll or something and they will uh, run the test cases. So continuous deployment, this is CD. 
and you are because in uh, if you are working in a project your project might be follow this type of pipeline right uh, for sonar you will run and this code uh, if it is uh, run properly then your code moving to the dev then your code moving to the QA right yeah so this is a like different topic uh, environment and all but yeah this is included in this pipeline like yeah for deploying a code from dev to QA right or this is called continuous deployment okay if this pipeline is running fine then we will deploy a code to the QA environment okay now you got an idea what is a continuous deployment and continuous integration okay so now we can see the working now we are good to go right so just remove and came here okay so come here first thing just you are a developer okay you are working in a project okay just uh, for a uh, uh, sake of simplicity i have taken here only one person but it's not possible you are working alone right uh, your peer uh, team members also working there your colleagues are right a developer are there and here I have taken a QA okay as a single person okay yeah so just what is the purpose of this thing I want to be uh, like what is a pipeline uh, first uh, need a and um, you we need to understand why we need this pipeline if we not have this Jenkins and first of all before starting all these things what is the Jenkins Jenkins is an automation tool which used in like CI and CD continuous integration and continuous development okay and it is very easy to deploy uh, your code to like uh, different different environment so now one thing is clear what is the Jenkins is now what is the purpose of this uh, all thing like I want to uh, make my code available to this person QA because I have written some code I have written some code I have written unit test case and I want now to this code available to this person QA because uh, after I have written a unit test cases and a, a functionality like code uh, for fun some particular functionality now what is the next step of development this person need to be tested right that particular code or that particular functionality which developer have uh, written now right so and he will check the entire application either he will perform regression or either he will perform functional testing but he need to check right yeah so um, uh, when he need to check uh, for checking that purpose he need that code right yeah so now understand the purpose of this uh, whole CICD pipeline now you need to uh, make available your code to this person but if you don't have this pipeline just forward for a two second you don't have this pipeline okay then what do you need to do you will write a code you will write a unit test case you will uh, build your application package your application or you will make a, 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 a like a wr var file right and you will uh, make that file and give to this person and whatever he will do that file and uh, he will make that available in system and after that he will test it so it will take entire uh, so much time right you will uh, like there is one functionality suppose you are uh, working on some functionality and it takes like to you 30 days and uh, your unit test uh, unit test will take you 10 days okay after that you will build packaging whatever you will do and you will give this whole thing to after packaging to this particular person right and he will do something to that to make available to in system right and again he will test it all right and uh, something got failed he will uh, file a bug and uh, assign to you this is a whole process right but this is a long time taking process so that's why we want to save our time and we make uh, our old development process very fast so we need a Jenkins for that and how Jenkins will help to lay a continuous uh, integration and continuous development uh, now see here you are a developer okay and you write a some particular functionality okay and uh, you write a unit test cases for that and you write a code okay you write and this is your local system this is a local system yeah, which you are on working uh, you might be using some IDE Eclipse or uh, IntelliJ whatever you want to use right yeah you are using something and uh, for particular functionality here mm, you have write a code and unit test cases both uh, you have write in your local system now you uh, run your this particular both things unit test cases and code all thing is working fine and you are uh, ready to push your code so what you will do you will push your code into the git repository right yeah you post your code into the git repository till here no doubt right simple you post your code and code available into the git repository right so now the jenkins come in a picture 
okay now if you see here like if you are belong to some village area or something we have two different colors here this one and this one right and we have this uh, separation between right and we have this numbering one two three one two three so this is act as a pipe first pipe second pipe right yeah to make you understand i have uh, written i have made this 3d diagram so this is like pipe something first pipe and second pipe so first pipe i represent here ci and second pipe represent here cd now your code is available to the git repository right now jenkins come in a picture how we will uh, set up a pipeline and what is a pipeline is it is a set of uh, jobs which we have written inside a jenkins and what is the uh, purpose of this job is like okay just take a code from git repository right it will take a code from here okay and run unit test cases as i have told you when i have uh, when we are talking about ci we are talking about running a unit test cases for entire application okay and whatever the software you are using uh, or tool you are using for generating reports i still remember uh, in my initial days of uh, when i starting my career i am working as a automation engineer but now i am working as a developer but so I, we are using their like cucumber uh, and we integrate that into the jenkins pipeline so we are uh, showing a reports or all test cases uh, regarding that like it will show your report in terms of like like this it will give you the percentage like this like this much percentage you have error 10 percent is and this much percentage you have green right got it yeah so after uh, first this pipeline will execute ci and when this pipeline will execute and the report is whole green we don't have any error we have this whole green right 100 percent then only this cd will execute okay and what it will do it will not take a code from git repository okay this will not take a code from it it will take a code from the ci pipeline and it will available after all these uh, step will perform okay we have different steps here one two three we have different steps here and but uh, the main thing you need to be remember here the ci pipeline will take a code from get repository okay and the cd pipeline is connected to the as you can see here let me remove all this as you can see here right uh, yeah this is a first pipe right and your second pipe is connected to the first pipe right so it is just like one thing uh, let me make you understand you have uh, like you have aware of the method chaining right in java so you have m1 method uh, yeah you have m1 method and if you call this method and you have m2 method right so this is called like a method chaining so first this method perform and after the water the output will be this method will be performed right so this is a thing first we have a output here and whenever the output came it came to here got it and after it available to the git repository and uh, this is a local system for this qa people right now uh, this qa guy uh, yeah we have a uh, yeah very important role this guy play when the uh, things come to the test so it come to the computer or your um, local repository and he, he have a like a whatever tester it is like functional or automation he if he is working as an automation engineer he will write a test cases for your application right and he will check like your functionality is working or not or he is working as a functional he will test on a manually right like suppose uh, you are you have um, add a something uh, notification in our application so he will check like notification is working or not or it is popping or not right all things so this is a pretty simple right uh, no need to be make complex things right this is a uh, jenkins pipeline so pretty simple so we will i will meet you in next video with some other different topic okay yeah till then see you bye bye if you have any question you can comment down i will happy to answer okay bye bye